fellas. Welcome to another episode of Let's Clean a Record. Today we are going to review every single record cleaning fluid and other hi-fi oriented cleaning product that we have in this studio. And as you can see, there's quite a few. Let's get right to it. We're going to start with the most important fluid of them all, and that's simply water. But there's several choices there. A lot of guys will use distilled water. In some record cleaning machines, that and maybe isopropyl alcohol is all you use, like the Kermis. So distilled water is a must. Sometimes we'll go with branded, in this case AIVS. Lab grade water, it's hard to know. They don't tell you exactly how pure that water is, but it's certainly available from many different manufacturers. Other guys, us included, like to use a combination of deionized and reverse osmosis water. That's typically what we wash our brushes with in between sides. So, gotta start with the water. Did you just call me a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Water's gotta be as pure as you can get it. That's obviously very important in all of these processes. Another is simple alcohol, right? Acts as a surfactant and can help get, it can help break the water up. So particularly in cavitation machines, so that it can get deep inside that groove. So get yourself some 70% isopropyl alcohol. That may come in handy at some point. Let's move on to one of our favorites. Oh, this is great. This is the Disc Doctor, the Miracle Cleaning Fluid, and this one called Quick Wash. I really wouldn't recommend the Quick Wash. It's fine, but it's really very light. However, if you're using the Disc Doctor's brushes in a manual process, and by the way, they're magnificent brushes in a very inexpensive way into get in, getting into effectively cleaning records. I would recommend that you use this record cleaning fluid. For, there's just some synergy between the Disc Doctor's fluid and those brushes. We've tried pretty much every other fluid with Disc Doctor brushes, but this one always comes out on top. Speaking of manual processes, um, one of, another very inexpensive manual process akin to the spin clean machine that we're all familiar with, very common machine out there, manual machine, is one called Studebaker. It's about half the price as the spin clean, and it does come with its own branded cleaning fluid. They call it Clean It for vinyl. I am not a fan of this. I do like the Studebaker machine, however. I think if you're on a budget and want to want to get a decent cleaning process down, Studebaker may be the way to go, particularly if you have two of them. One with the cleaning fluid and one with pure water. That's a nice way to do it. And then, of course, there's the spin clean. Probably more spin cleans out there than any other kind of uh, record cleaning process. And the fluid that they sell with that machine, not too bad. It actually works pretty good. However, if you're using a spin clean or a Studebaker as a pre-soaking process when you have a particularly dirty record, my favorite by far is TurgiClean. Think of this stuff like I don't know, paint peeler. It's very powerful. Does a great job getting that deep gunk off that's perhaps been on that record for many, many decades. Let's see, what do we have next? Oh, VPI. We have a VPI machine, the Cyclone, and VPI does make their own record cleaning fluid. It's here it is. It's definitely has a lot of isopropyl alcohol in it. I would rate this one just okay. Not my first choice, but if you have it, you can use it. It's it's reasonably effective, but as we get down the line here, I think you'll see some others are frankly better. Next up, we have Last, Last Factory. Their record cleaning fluid actually is similar to VPI's in that it has isopropyl alcohol in it and does an effective job. I am not a fan, however, of the power cleaner. This is really intended for brand new records. If there's any of that mold release compound as they sometimes call it. I've just never found joy with this one. We've tried it several different ways and so can't recommend that but I do like the record clean fluid. While we're on last I do have to mention the record preservative. This is really what they're known for. We are big fans. The debate continues but we think it sounds better. Next up we have Walker Audio. This is the prelude process. I mentioned it because, well, and here it is here in the studio, and we have used it over the years with some success. However, it's no longer made. Best thing about the Walker audio system 
are the brushes. Fantastic unidirectional brushes, pad type brushes. We've done reviews previously of all the brushes we have in house. So I love the brushes. This is a very involved process. It's a five step process. It starts with an enzymatic soak, then goes to a, a cleaner that is part enzymatic and part record cleaning fluid, then a straight record cleaning fluid, then you've got their proprietary or their branded, I should say, pure water. It does work very well. It's a lengthy process. It's intended to be used with a suction type machine, or you could use it with a Laura Craft as well. But it's not bad. The brushes are great. Moving on, ah, this one has to be perhaps, if, if you had to have one, this would be it. It's Laurent Dusson. It does a great job cleaning records. It is a straight record cleaning fluid, no enzymatic solutions, and is particularly effective on very dirty records. There's no alcohol in it at all, however, so some guys like it one way or the other, know that. But this is one perhaps we've used over the years more than any other with great success. Speaking of enzymatic solutions, we have two here that we recently tried. This is Todd the Vinyl Junkie. We thought these worked pretty well. There's a regular strength and then an extra strength. Did a real decent job. Also a very cost-effective option if you are dealing with records that have protein or other organic material on the vinyl itself. It will help remove that material. Next up, ah, we have MoFi. A lot of guys out there like the MoFi brushes. Another pad type brush. Kind of looks similar to the to the Disc Doctor brush, but it is a, quite a bit different. It's a different nap. But the record cleaning fluids themselves work quite well. They also have a branded uh, pure water. I'm a fan and they work particularly well with the MoFi brushes. So if you're a MoFi guy, by all means, get the brushes and the record cleaning fluid. Another enzymatic product that we recently tried is from Phoenix. This is another one of those products that doesn't put anything on the label as to what it's made of, but it is part record cleaning fluid and part enzymatic. We used it with some reasonable success and it is rather inexpensive, another good value for money. Now we're gonna get into the brand that along with Laura Toussaint is I would say our favorite brand, and that's AIVS, Audio Intelligence Vinyl Solutions. Quite a few different ones to choose from here. Well, there's three. These three are their record cleaning fluids. The first is called Premier One Step Formula Number no. Six. This would be akin to a light cleaning fluid, but a very effective one. Then we have Super Cleaner Formula. This is their version with isopropyl alcohol. And they also make a version without it, and they call that Premium Archivist Formula. They all work extremely effectively. And I'll say this too, if you want to use this product, no, nope, not that one, here, their Pure Enzymatic Formula. If you intend to let the record soak in this, I highly recommend first cleaning it with one of these three products. The reason being is this will leave a trace of surfactant on the surface of the vinyl and therefore allow the enzymatic formula to spread evenly across the surface of the record while it does that five minute soak. But whether you're using it as a pre-cleaner before an enzymatic formula or just a straight ahead cleaner, every one of these products is very, very highly recommended. And the last one I wanna point out is their number 15 formula. Again, with Laura Toussaint, probably if he could only have one, I might just go with this one. It is a mixture of enzymatic and record cleaning formula and it is an extremely effective product. Those are all our record cleaning formulas, but before we go, let's point out one other. I do like very much this Phoenix product for cleaning CDs and DVDs. Wonderful little brush that comes with it. Very effective. Then of course, if you need to clean your interconnects, there's Deoxid D5, another effective product and for polishing the pins on your AC plugs. We're big fans of Flitz. So fellas, that's it. All of the record cleaning fluids that we use and our thoughts on each of them. We'll see you at the next record. Mm -hmm.